Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalam. Ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'd. Ahabati fillah. Sometimes we despair because of our sins, because of our many, many sins. And as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one of the traits that we want to avoid and fight is despair. And despair... I'm referring to the despair of despairing with your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, giving up on Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, thinking that Allah will not forgive you, thinking that Allah has forgotten you, thinking that Allah will not answer your dua, thinking that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not there for you. This is... An extremely scary and common disease that we experience when we're weak in Iman. This is a sign of weakness in Iman. That you think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive you and that you cannot be of the Ahl Khair, ah, the people of goodness. And that you despair and think that Allah will not answer your dua. And I'm reminding myself first and my brothers and sisters, secondly, that we cannot afford to let that happen in our lives. That we have to remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us in toil. And that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala likewise knows and made us so we are imperfect and that we would commit sins and that he loves that we come back to him. If we keep that in front of us, then that should inspire and instill hope to know that your Lord has not forgotten you, to know and believe as a part of the man that he will answer you in one form or another. That perhaps it will be an expiation for some of your sins. So you may have wanted something in your life for many years and you didn't receive it. It didn't come on time in a manner that you expected. It didn't come in the form in which you wanted. But that doesn't mean that Allah has not given it to you in another form. Perhaps he diverted a calamity from you. Perhaps he gave you some expiation. He forgave you. Or perhaps it is coming at a later, a later time or it will come in the hereafter. So these are the things to keep in front of us as believers. And likewise, we know that we have wicked sins. We know and we understand that even the righteous that we respect and love, that they have their share in sin. No one is infallible. And if you realize that, not rejoicing in sin, but realizing that to still have hope in your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, hope for his favors, hope for his blessings, hope for his reward, hope that he will answer your dua, hope that he will give you those things that you feel that you require to strengthen your iman. If you don't give up on Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, he won't give up on you. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, The Prophet alayhi afdal salatu was salam said all the children of Adam they make sins. 
They all commit sins. And the best of those who sin are those who repent. If we realize that every one of us has sins and mistakes, but that every single one of us has a chance and a shot, as long as we're not on our deathbed and taking our final breath and the other situations which repentance would be rejected. And so you have a chance to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you have a chance to be of the ahl khair, the people who Allah loves. Because the Prophet sallallahu said, Kullu ibn Adam khatta wa khayran khattayin tawabun. All the children of Adam commit sins. And the best of those who sin are those who repent. So, therefore, Ahabatifillah, if we repent, if we come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we can be the best. Because the Prophet ﷺ said, Khayra, Kullu ibn Adam khatta wa khayra, wa Kullu ibn Adam khatta wa khayra, Kullu ibn Adam khatta, all the children of Adam, they commit sins. And those of those who sin, you know, those are the people who are sinning. Those are the people who are making those mistakes. Those are the people who need toba. Those are the people who are committing major sins. The best of them is those who repent. So if we all sin, we all need repentance. And the best of those are those who have the tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they repent. May Allah bless us to be of the tawabin. Ameen ya rabbil alameen. And may Allah bless us with ikhlas with thabat. Ala sunnat al nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And may Allah protect us from giving up on him to ta'ala and despairing. Because that's a wretched state. Do not give up on your Lord to ta'ala. Do not think for a minute that you don't have a chance to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because you can come back. And do not despair in your dua. And do not destroy those dua by giving up. But rather keep making dua. Keep begging Allah because perhaps you're doing something which is negating your dua. Which is keeping your dua from being answered. So you think that, hey, if I can get married... I will not do these sins anymore. These certain sins that are plaguing me, that are attaching to my heart, that are destroying me, that are humiliating me, that are destroy, that are, uh, you know, causing my destruction. I won't do it if Allah just blesses me with a righteous, beautiful wife or a righteous, handsome husband for the women. But perhaps you're doing something to prevent that getting that righteous spouse. Or perhaps you're not making the effort to gain that righteous companion. Because as we mentioned before, many times we talked about tawakkul, the concept of tawakkul Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we mentioned that tawakkul Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to it means to rely solely upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and making efforts. So for the one who is suffering from sin due to his or her not being married, then they need to take steps to find a righteous spouse. They need to be in the places to find a righteous companion. They need to alert, if they're a woman, alert their guardian. Or they need to be proactive in finding a righteous person in order to help fulfill their deen and protect them, protect their private parts, protect them from the sins of their selves, their own selves. And this is done by making a real sincere effort 
and then leaving your affairs with Allah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, bless us with the khlas, with the vat, and may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala answer our du'as, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us all to be better believers in Him. Because Allah is, does not want you to sin. Allah does not want you to fail. If you remember that and you have that positive outlook, that know that your Lord doesn't want you to fail, then bi'idnillah ta'ala, you will have the success. And we ask Allah the Almighty to forgive us and bless us with ikhlas, with abad, and bless us with success. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.